and welcome to the channel. This is Ampersand Unique Gifts and Home Decor and my name is Sarah. Today we're going to do a fun upcycle with some used bottles. I'm going to show you what you can do with decoupage and trash and make some pretty cool decor. See you on the flip side. So have you ever had bottles that were just too pretty to throw away? So I actually thrifted two of these clear bottles and then this green one is from an auction. Pretty sure that's not really vitamin D milk. Um, and then the blue bottle and then this really cool one my daughter gave me. She picked this up actually off the um, banks of the Ohio River while she was down there with this cool project. Struggled a little bit with the label on this one. It was the only one that still had a label. So I just used my hair dryer. It heats up the glue on the back and you can peel that right off. And there's not really any residue left when you do it that way. Sometimes there might be a little bit. But I'm still using a cotton ball and some alcohol here on all of the bottles just to clean them off and make sure there's nothing left on there. I'm, you know, I'm decoupaging it and I just don't want anything that could possibly interfere with that decoupage medium holding that down. You can kind of see a little bit of the sticky on that one that I scrub off. But this one I think is so cool. It's not really old. Um, the, ta the top, it has a cork and then the top is plastic. But I just love the look of that bottle, especially with its age and dirt. We are going to use Decoupage Queen rice paper to put these really cool labels on these bottles. And the thing about rice paper is that it's thicker. It's like a combination between paper and fabric. It has those little fibers in it. I will put in the bottom the name of this. So in the description, I'll add in the name. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cut out some of the labels that I want to use. And I'm going to start with this green one. I'm pretty sure these are all liquor bottles. I don't know. But uh, two of them I thrifted at Goodwill. But I just thought they were really pretty. So I went ahead and took them even though I think they probably were originally for liquor. I'm not sure. So I'm using Debbie's Design Diary Liquid Patina and the color Crystal Clear Chandelier. It's my favorite decoupage medium. You can't see it. It goes on perfectly. It's smooth. And it makes a great sealer. Um, to put on afterwards. So what I decided I was going to try and I do it a few different ways But I am going to put the decoupage medium on the back of the paper that way I know it is fully covered it has lots and it reduces the amount of um, Wiping off around the bottle to try to get rid of any excess So in other words rather than slather it all over the bottle and have to clean it up I'm going to just put it on the back of my paper and then I will use a wet wipe and I will clean it off from the edge of the bottle and my fingers from where I picked it up. But uh, it wipes off very cleanly, especially if you do it when it's still wet. And then I just kind of make sure that the label is, I'm pressing down everywhere to make sure that it sticks to the bottle absolutely everywhere. The thing about rice paper is because it's thicker and it's not as fragile as when if you're decoupaging with napkins or something like that and it did allow me to shift it and move it. This one I thought I would try something a little bit different. I thought, you know what, let's make the edge a little rougher. So this is just a, it's a bowl of water and I'm using my finger and when I use other decoupage papers, I use a toothpick to just kind of tear the edges, but this one is too strong. Um, so I end up just kind of taking my fingers and pulling it off. And again, I'm just trying to make kind of a rough edge all the way around there. And sometimes when you decoupage with things that are a thinner paper, your image will kind of disappear if what you're using on the back isn't white. So a lot of times we'll paint something white before we decoupage. So what I decided to do here is using IOD's white chalk ink on my ink pad there. I am just stamping the back of my paper and I could have painted it but I just wanted to try it with the ink. So I set that aside to dry and now we're going to move on and we're going to use the same method and we're going to put it on this next bottle and again I am decoupaging the back of my paper first and we'll stick that on there. And if you've been following me then you know that I had surgery and I'm still struggling. Recovery has been slow um, so I am still dealing with limited use of my right hand and unfortunately that's my dominant hand. So I am moving through things but I have no feeling in two of my fingers and I have pain in my wrist and my elbow so it's been, it, it, it's been 
challenging to do some of this. So you'll see my hand looks kind of awkward in some places. Anyway, I move on. Um, I'm just uh, removing that excess and I can clean it up later too. Um, this one I decided to kind of do the original way. I thought, well, let's just see what happens here. If I wipe, if it wipe off, mm. if it wipes off so easily, oh my goodness, then let's just try it that way. But I really did like putting it on the paper first because I just, I know then that it's covered everywhere on the paper and I don't have to worry that maybe there was a place that did not get enough on there. So I'm trying to do this by holding it, but it was kind of hard. This bottle really is my favorite and I think it's partly um, because of the worn look and it just really looks like an old bottle. Um, if you know what any of these bottles are, feel free to let me know in the comments, but I just think they were really cool looking and I loved this one. It was definitely my favorite. So now we have, uh, we're going back to our one that we painted. I didn't want to put the decoupage medium on the back of this because that's where I had the chalk. So we are going to go ahead and just make sure that we put it on the bottle. So I just kind of put where I want it and then fold the paper so that I can get it in the right spot. And then I'm going to go through and I will put it all over and make sure that it is pressed down really well. Sorry, I forgot to turn off my notifications. You can hear all my little emails and such chiming in there. And this one, because of the way I did the edges, it's got that rough edge look, but it almost made it look like it was, you know, made out of hair um, where you can see all those little fibers. So I just put it on there, wipe it off, set it over to dry. These others have already dried. So now I'm going to go ahead and seal the top. So again, just using that same liquid patina, I am taking my foam brush and I am just putting it really well over the top. I want to make sure that it is, you know, if somebody were to wipe it off. I don't recommend washing them in the dishwasher or anything or soaking them in water, um, but you could at least wipe it off with a rag and not have to worry about that coming off. So I go ahead and cover them real well then take that wet wipe so this one the label just looked too new so i got this old bottle that's you know aged and it's brown and it just looked too new so i decided to take some cinnamon and just age it a little bit so i'm trying just to get a tiny little bit couldn't decide where to put it so it wasn't going to be all over and because that decoupage medium is wet i'm just taking a little bit of cinnamon and rubbing it there on the edges and kind of feathering it in and i do that and just it kind of I struggle you know I'm like okay I need a little bit more and just a tiny little bit's coming out and so now I just kind of I'm taking my um and you can see here that's that's what happens when you you know <laughs> whoops so I'm taking my fingers that already have the decoupage medium and the uh cinnamon on it and then I take my clean fingers that don't already have it on and I dip that into the decoupage and put that on and then used my finger that was already dirty to smear it on. But anyway, just trying to keep from getting cinnamon in my decoupage medium now that I have poured a giant pile of it out. Um, so here, just kind of going back, I had let them all dry overnight and there was still a little bit of a haze around the edge where I didn't get them quite as clean as I should have. So I'm taking that alcohol and I took a cotton uh, swab and wiped it across there just to make sure I had a little bit of control because I don't want it to go up on my label. And then I used a toothpick just to kind of scrape it and that was absolutely perfect. It got rid of all that uh, excess down there. So, you know, that way I know that I'm not up on my label. I just take that toothpick and kind of scrape on there. It kind of, it just peels off a little bit and then take a uh, napkin and wipe it off and there you go. It is perfecto. Aren't they pretty? I just think that they look so neat and now they look like old bottles like they just were something left over from Victorian area. Here are the finished models. I would be waiting for you if you had to leave.